Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial um, for the Sage 200 system, uh, based on where we've posted a patch ledger invoice for an expense, and uh, we've done it incorrectly, so we'd like to correct it. Okay, so I'm just going to open the software up. So the details that we're looking at is um, against this um, account um, direct uh, tile imports on our test data. This is um, an account that is a standard sterling account. Okay, so quite important is currency. Um, there are two elements that make the routines as to whether or not we would be able to reverse a transaction. The first is, is it in base currency, i.e. pound sterling for our system. Yep, so obviously things like these euro ones, etc. that we've got further down the screen, we wouldn't be able to reverse any transactions against those uh, because it's just too complex in the way that it calculates currency, etc. So they would need to be done manually if we need to do a correction or reversal of one of the transactions on those. However, if it's on a sterling account, then we'll be able to um, do a reversal uh, as long as there's a couple of things in place. So the first is that it must be unallocated, i.e. an outstanding transaction in the system. Okay. The second is that it's not already on query or something like that, so if it's on query it won't allow you to reverse it, or if it's an unauthorised invoice because of authorised invoice authorisation, and they may have, may have a status um, against the transaction of you. So what we're going to do is just, just reverse one of these transactions, so as long as these bits are all in place, we should be able to reverse it. Okay. The transaction we're going to look at is, say, is under this direct tile imports, uh, and it's an invoice dated the 18th of August, with a reference related to an order number 3023 for 30 pounds and eight pence. So I'll just double click into the account here. So we can see the outstanding transactions. So I'll just need to reverse that so it shows me the oldest transactions first. Okay, so I've got my transactions there. So the one I'm interested in is this one here, 3023. We can see that uh, one further up the screen has got a, an unauthorized reference, so that one wouldn't be reversible. However, because I was hasn't, got that and it isn't already allocated we should be able to um, reverse this transaction off okay so I'm just going to look and check the details so there's all my details it's 18th of August due the 30th of September okay and then we can see the nominal account so again the, all these nominals have gone through and it will also post against these uh, same nominals so it will do the exact opposite of what the original transaction did okay so that's basically the transaction we're going to work on so I'll just close that off now Okay, so what I'll then do is I go to my um, purchase ledger, um, adjust transactions and reverse transactions. So that's just off the left hand menu, purchase ledger, adjust transactions, reverse transaction. Okay, so I'm now prompted to enter my account again, just using standard um, principles I can search on code shortening, but I know that the account code is DIR001, as can be seen in the list in the background. So I'll select that account, so DIR001. Okay. So that then gives me um, a list of the transactions that are currently reversible. So anything that is in there is reversible. If it isn't in the list, as I say, it, it might be that it's potentially already been matched off or something like that. Um, if something has been paid off, it is still possible to reverse the transaction. It's just that you'd have to reverse the allocation off first. Uh, that bit isn't covered in this session, but there will be another session that uh, allows you to amend allocations uh, and then reverse those off. And then once you've reversed the allocation off, you would then be able to reverse the transaction off. Okay, so the transaction I'm interested in is this one down here, in most uh, relate to order number 300 or 3023 rather. Just click reverse, that's a, a highlight the transaction, click reverse. Okay, so that again gives me all the details. If I wanted to modify something in the reference just so I knew that this was a correction of or something, I might put like reversal in the second ref just so I'm aware that I've reversed it. But as I say, if not, if you post it through, it's got the exact opposite of what the original transaction on, uh, including nominal ledger accounts, etc. Okay, so I just need to, uh, so I've now put reversal. Um, all I do to reverse this transaction now is just literally to the click save. Okay, if I did have any project analysis, etc. against this, then the project details would appear there as well. So it does reverse projects as well as uh, nominal transactions if they're related to this particular transaction. Okay, so once I click save, that's gonna post the credit note because this was an invoice. Um, had it been, say, a purchase ledger payment, then it would post a purchase ledger receipt back against it. Okay, so it basically just does the exact opposite transaction. So invoice does a credit note, credit note does an invoice, etc. Uh, once I'm happy and I've confirmed that the details are on there that I want to post it, I just click save and that's then allocated off 
and reverse that transaction. And you can see now that this, the transaction, the original one, is no longer available in the list. This is because it's now allocated against that one. So we'll just go have a look at that in the inquiry. So if I close this transaction bit off, just double click into the account to open up my transaction inquiry. This is applicable to say 200, 2015. Uh, 2013 when you double click doesn't do that, it takes into amend account. So just to be aware if you're on an earlier version of 2015, double clicking won't do exactly what mine is doing here. Okay, but if I open up, I need to then show all transactions rather than just outstanding. Okay, and I'll just reverse my dates and just confirm my transaction norm that I was looking at. So just scroll down a little bit. So I know it was the 18th of September and it was 3023. So as I go through, so I've, there's my credit note, and at the bottom here is the actual invoice. So this was the original invoice. There's the credit note. Uh, and if I click on the allocation session here, I can then see that these two are allocated to each other. Okay, so there's an invoice credit note. Okay, now normally if we were doing this, um, I wouldn't necessarily do it against a POP invoice um, because this doesn't correct any stock or anything else in the background. It's purely the financial side of it. So if there was any stock adjustments, etc., that you wanted to do against that, you would have to process those manually. Okay, but if it was just a normal expense purchase invoice that had been posted rather than a POP one, then this would be the correct routine to use. Um, equally, if you need to make a correction against an account, then you don't have another option where you can reverse a POP. Okay, that now um, concludes this session. Hopefully it's been uh, useful for you, and we'll uh, see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.